only one wife. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Nakis on mother change as well. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say it's the oldest church in Bohol? Yes, yeah, oldest. oldest church. Oh. oh wow. taxi driver on the way here. We've just got to our resort in Lobok, well in Bohol, and it's literally on the river. I mean, it's called a river resort, so I'm not sure what I was expecting, but they're so nice here, and this island is just so calm compared to Cebu. It's so clean as well, because it's not very touristy. Let me just show you the river. Here's the river. They actually have chickens. They do a lot of cockfighting here actually, so people have all their chickens tied up and it's big money. Don't think he likes the camera. Oh, look at that one. Just look at that one over there. Yeah. This, this is quite golden. This one behind you as well. How are they just casually carrying our luggage like that? Okay. <laughs> I know. How are they going faster than us, Jess? And they're carrying like 20 kg on their shoulder. This place is so cool. It's like literally raised. This is our room. I'm about to give you a tour. We're in room number. 23. Oh, you go in. It's quite big. It's very rustic, I would say. There's a big bed here. I cannot believe the guys carried each bag on one shoulder. How do they do that? And they walked faster than us as well. Here we go. There's the TV. Oh, oh, there's aircon. <laughs> this place is quite shabby compared to the previous one, but it's nice and I'm glad we're only here for two nights, you know. And oh, what's this? Oh, we got a balcony. How cute. A lot of green. There we go. Oh, do you know what? I think that all of these buildings, like houses, are raised because this area is prone to flooding when they have typhoons. Let me just show you the bathroom first before I tell you my story because I haven't even looked at it myself yet. I assume it's here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not quite luxury, you know, but there's a flower-shaped sink, a toilet, and oh, I don't like a wet room. I mean, you know, it's fine. I don't know if people can see you out there. But here we are. You guys know me at this point. You know how much of a princess I am. And this isn't quite up to my standards. But everyone here is super friendly. And we're only here for two nights. <coughs> oh, in fact. We just got the ferry from Cebu. We got the one o'clock ferry, which is a little bit delayed. We arrived at 3.30. It took us about 45 minutes to get to our hotel. We've only got tomorrow as a full day, and then I think we're flying out the day after, so we're not here for very long. We walked past the little pool. There are lots of Brits by the pool, actually. I could hear like a Mancunian and another Northern England accent, <laughs> which is really weird actually, because the entire time we were in Cebu, we only heard one woman speaking the British accent. They don't get very many tourists from the UK here because, I don't know why actually, don't know why, but obviously most people from England go to like Thailand <laughs> or other parts of Asia. Uh, we only know like a couple of people that have ever been to the Philippines, so it's all very sort of new territory I think bricks but I'm gonna go find Jas because he's just gone outside to go and like have a look at some things. I'm gonna go and explore. Right the hotel are giving a tour of the resort at 4 30 which is in about three minutes so we're gonna try and find our way back. Yeah. That's all the monkeys are. Oh it says monkey island. Yeah literally yeah. Jas just went for a little walk and saw actual monkeys like angrily screaming at him. Anyway 
place is a little bit shabby for my liking, but I want to have a tour. I'm going to need mosquito and all sorts of ins insect repellent. But I want to show you the pool. This is the way we walked, right? I feel like I'm going to lose a shoe down these slats on the bridges. <laughs> it's quite a sweet little pool. Doesn't quite compare to my uh, infinity pool, you know? And then good thing we have a uh, closest uh, markets here, local markets, and they know that we have monkeys. They give us a call. Like if you have overripe food, so it's useful. So <laughs> today you can pick up the food, the food here already. What's he doing? Feed the monkeys. Mm -hmm. Don't want to whisper for it, but he's basically giving the bread to the monkeys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. vegetarian section. We sat in the um, hotel restaurant, it's called Venia's Kitchen, they've only got one. Um, they actually do have like an extensive vegetarian menu, I would say. By extensive I mean they've got more than two options. They have like pasta and pizza and stuff, I don't even look at that, but they've got like vegetable stir fries and curries and whatever. I don't know what I've ordered, it's just some sort of curry with loads of different veg in it. It's got like eggplant, I mean aubergine and um, okra in it as well which two veg that I haven't really had here. We did go on this tour of the hotel. Yeah. It wasn't really a tour, was it? And everyone just sort of walked off because <laughs> it was really weird. You have to walk through like the mud and like, oh my God, I've been bit on my face as well. Uh, I don't do like nature like this, like trees and like insects and creepy crawlies. I've been bitten everywhere just in like the two hours that I've been here. It's um, and they take you down this walk, like they take you on this walk down this river, um, and there's a monkey forest. Is it called Monkey Forest? Monkey Island. Monkey Island, and they're literally just like a two minute walk from our hotel room. It's so weird. And the man feeds the monkeys. It's really sweet. He has like bread and like really ripe fruit, and they all just like come rushing towards him, and they're fighting over the food. But you just end up just sitting there for ages, getting bitten. So we kind of walked off them, with everyone them, else. Watching us, because the monkeys, they'll, like, they'll like, end up just eating the food whilst we're all gathered around watching them for ages. Yeah. And then it gets a bit boring after that. Okay. Yeah. And then we saw people start walking off, and our tour guide left like ages before that. So we we're like, oh, was this the tour? Yeah, the tour guide. So we were done. She just walked off, didn't she? Yeah, but the tour guide, she yeah, she walks off, left, leaves us to it. So we're, then, we're then left with the guy who's feeding the monkeys. But I thought, let me just try to ask him a few questions, just to like, you know, yeah. lift, lift the mood a little bit. And he didn't have any, no, any English. <laughs> so he didn't know how to answer my questions. I said, do the monkeys bite? This place is like very shabby. This is not like, Nishi okay. is not happy. Um, I'm just counting down the hours. We've only got one full day here, which is tomorrow. And then our flight the following day is at 11 a.m. And then we are out of here. Whee! That's a private boat. Huh? What? That's a private boat, I think. Oh, right, yeah. Right, here we have it. Mixed vegetable, spicy curry and coconut milk. We've got two lots of garlic rice. I've just got some mango stuffed chicken breast in a mango sauce. That shit's pretty good, you know? Yep. And yours does anyway. Mine looks good too, actually. Oh my god, guys. I have just had the first meal of this trip that I genuinely really liked. If you watch my Cebu vlog before this and my Abu Dhabi vlog, you will know that vegetarian food has just been abysmal, non-existent, disgusting, just hard to find, right? I've just, this, this, what was it called? I need to remember. Spicy vegetable stir fry with coconut milk. Granted, if I was served this in a restaurant at home, I'd be like, mm, this is not that great. But 
it was so good, wasn't it? Like, look, I've actually just, lowered. my standards have been lowered. Um, I did ask for some hot sauce because it was really bland. But I think that's just Filipino food, actually. They don't really have a lot of spice, and I've come to realise that. Oh, and then when I do ask for hot sauce, everyone gives you Tabasco. And it's like, yeah, I love Tabasco. Like, I put it on, like, pizza. Not on a, like, um, not in, like, a curry. That's weird, right? Anyway, oh, it was just such a good meal. I'm so happy. Like, I finally had a meal. It was good. Good. It's been a week since we left the house. We left the house eight days ago. Yes. My last good meal was my pret sandwich. Before this was my pret sandwich at Heathrow. Was it? Yeah. Was it? Oh, I did have, an, I did have um, a penne arrabbiata in yeah. Cebu, which I loved, but that was the night before I got ill. And I don't know if it was a lactose intolerance thing, a gluten intolerance thing, whatever it was, it was horrific. So I just put me off pasta. I. I'm staying away from pasta and pizza as much as I can. How was yours? Mine's actually all right. I mean, it's it's okay. I was not the best I've had, but you can't go get chicken meat, can you? This was a chicken. In no, you can. Store. You said that Jolly Bees. Oh, Jolly Bees are oh my gosh, it's the worst looking <laughs> chicken I've ever had in my life. So it's trying to be copying KFC wherever it's right. And it, all I had is batter. This was so good. I'm happy. Oh, I've got to go back to a the horrible hotel room now. Good morning, Lazarus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have no idea how bad I look. There are no mirrors in our very shabby hotel room, so I literally got dressed in the dark. We're back at um, the restaurant having breakfast. It's really early. Um, do you know what? You don't need to see my face. This is bad. I mean, this breakfast is possibly the worst. I can't believe I was moaning in Cebu, <laughs> I had so many options. Guys, it is eight o'clock. This time tomorrow, we are out of here. That's what's keeping me going. I couldn't sleep last night knowing I had to wake up in this like disgusting hotel room. This can't be three star. It has to be like one or two. Even Jack, do you know what? Like I might be like a princess and have really high standards when it comes to cleanliness. Like I don't do anything that's not clean. Even he, all night, was checking the bed for like mm. dead things and mosquitoes and creepy crawlies. And normally he's just like Basically, give you, fine with it. Give you extra experience about like, I'm a celebrity getting me out of here. That kind of experience if you want it. No, I don't want to be a celebrity. I'd rather <laughs> just have slept in the man's taxi. I've been itching myself all night mm. thinking I can feel things on me. Oh no. Good morning from me and my breakfast. <laughs> Sorry, but like, what is this? This place That's is mean, shit. Like, is like, I hate this hotel. I hate the food. I hate everything. Um, you know what you mean? Jazz, tell them about my oh, milk. Oh, she's like a oh, fucking nightmare, basically. <laughs> we asked for coffee. Uh, for me, it's normal. I can have any milk. You asked for either soya milk or oat. And they said, yes, we got oat milk. We said, okay, that's really good, you know. We're quite shocked that they had oat milk. You brought your coffee out, um, obviously without the milk. I mean, asked them where the oat milk is. They said, yeah, don't worry, we'll, it's coming. But five minutes later, I still didn't come. So I went and had to and I said, where's your oat milk? You know, because the coffee's getting cold. And they said, we're making it. I said, what? They said, no, we don't have instant. I said, okay, well, obviously they're making oat milk out of the oats in my hand the back. So they said, it's coming. Give me Which five would minutes. explain why they're charging yeah, me for it. I said, they're charging about 80, you know, more than one pound, about one pound fifty for it. So I said, okay. About another 10 minutes later, they come out with a massive plate <laughs> with porridge. <laughs> and I said, what the hell is that? Is it oat oatmeal? Oat I said, no, we wanted oat milk. M-I-L-K, not meal. And they said, oh, that's what they <laughs> Actually really worries me though, is when she brought the porridge out, yeah, it looks really good. And I said, I can't eat that. It's got milk in it. She says, there's no milk in here. I was like, yeah, there is. And she was like, no, no, there's no milk. And I was like, well, how is it made? I was like, is it made? Because I sometimes make porridge with water at home. And she was like, it's just oatmeal. I was like, yeah, but what's in it? And they don't have, like, because their English isn't that great, I don't want to end up eating dairy. So I've got this, like, shitty salad. I'm sorry. That's like, your main. That was my main. And because I knew that would be my main, I asked for, like, two lots of fruit. And you're not allowed two lots. They, like, called a whole scene. There's, like, British people there, like, watching us, which is really embarrassing. And they wouldn't give me like mango and pineapple. This is for like both of us. Um, and eventually they did. I was like, mate, I'm not eating like your omelets or your toast or like. Well, I'm not eating like your omelets or your garlic rice. The woman from the fingers juice up. I can't be asked to argue with that. 
for your juice, no, yeah. Want to off, yeah. I really hope this is the worst place we're staying. I hope it just gets better from here. So there's a small bone, and then if you squeeze, and there's a color red inside. Oh yeah, the red coloring. This the is food. a oh, natural food coloring. Food coloring. So it's a healthy food coloring, so no chemical. If that one will become yellow, so it's ready to get ready. Oh yeah, when the chocolates yeah. become yellow. And after the chocolate. it, they're gonna... This one. Ah, so if a, if a house has a circular window, it means that someone that works on the sea, like a sea man, um, lives there. That's so cool. Yeah, these are really big houses around here. Yeah. So we're on a countryside tour and the first stop is this man-made forest. These trees were planted by Boy Scouts in the 1950s and it's to create like a shaded road. I don't know if you can hear me with all the busy traffic going by but it's so pretty. It's not really yeah, going up on camera. So Where's that for? Mockery nice trees, yeah, for building houses ah. and also for making furniture. Yeah, furniture, yeah. Really Very expensive. strong thing. But this one is not local in the Philippines, so this one is donation with the Americans. Oh really? Uh, so this one you can get like this in uh, South, uh, South Africa. South Africa. We've come to the Tarsia Conservation Area. Tarsiers are not monkeys, like some people say. They're actually primates. Yeah. Student. So check this one. So this is the mating, uh, October to January. Oh yeah. And then you can see that one in 200 wheels also. Tarsia. Oh. You can see the chocolate wheels. And we then, haven't uh, we haven't had a 200 tarsia. bill yet. Uh, 200 bills? Do you, yes, sir. You can get them. Yeah. Oh, we no, see that. You have. Uh, you can see this one in the 200 wheels. Oh, never noticed. Oh, we, we've only had 100 and 500 ah, and 50. Ah, 200. You can see that. Oh, I see. Now, this is the baby tarsia. Oh, oh it's in the stomach of the mother, that's why they're gonna eat their baby because... Oh, this is the baby? Yes, oh, ma'am, because tiny. the, uh, the male are uh, always jealous. Yeah, so... Uh, and then there is the baby Tarsier, uh, like the size of our town. Oh my god, it's so tiny! Uh, very uh, cute. Wow. And then this is the food, uh, they eat insects, and then even small birds, uh, they're gonna eat that one also. Wow. Whoa. Lifespan is uh, 15 to 24 years. 15 to 24 years. And there's no babies here because the male tarsiers eat them. Yes. So they have to be separated. And that's why they have big eyes. Fixed big eyes. Yeah. They're fixed. Yeah. And they don't move. That's why they cannot, they cannot move their eyeballs. So that's mm. why they're going to rotate their head uh, 180 degrees or more. Oh, okay. Wow. It's a rainy day here in Bihal. I should have said that we're actually on a countryside tour and we got the same driver that picked us up from the airport yesterday. He is the king of like cheesy jokes, but it's actually really funny. Um, he's hilarious. So we're at the Tossia conservation area. They're actually an endangered species and you're not allowed to touch them, obviously. Um, is, that one? is that something moving up there? Oh my god, these tarsiers are like so tiny and they're so cute and these are not even the baby ones. The baby ones are like smaller than your thumb. There's like a big group of tourists here that are being really loud and they keep being told to like shut up because you're not allowed to make any noise here. You can't scare the tarsiers. They actually sleep, they're actually sleeping right now. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find some more. This one? Yeah. Thank 
Yeah. Is that included in the guide price? It's the guide, so they pay the new when you give them. Oh, okay, yeah. We've just had to buy ponchos because it's raining. I'm all kitted up, now it's Jas's turn. We're at the Chocolate Hills and we are going quad biking up them. Never looked more glamorous. I need a helmet, right? I can see why we need a poncho. It's not just for the rain, it's to save you from the mud as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, automatic, forward, neutral, reverse. Okay, reverse is to, to the back. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. You are from? England. England, England yeah. London, London, yeah. London, yeah. <laughs> Where did your parents already go? The has already got mud on me. Look at all this, like, we had to walk through. Just to yeah, get, we end up getting a buggy, by the way. I'm hoping um, it's the right choice. I hope so. It's already very mud. Like, I'm sat on mud. Oh, shit. Okay. It's 158 steps. Time, then we go up there. Yeah, okay. Huh? Yeah, okay. We've just parked our buggy and we're going to climb up to the top of this chocolate hill. I hope there's some mud on my camera. <laughs> on my lens, I can see it. And it's 158 steps. So we're going to try not to die um, to get up to the viewing deck. Right, we're stopping for a rest. We're probably like not very high up. <laughs> the steps are so slippery because of all the mud and the rain. They're made of bamboo and they're actually really high. They're like the equivalent of like two steps at home, so that's basically how we have to walk up and down. Mm. We made it to the top! You sure did. We're very sweaty, don't look at us, look at the view. Oh, the edge. Oh, that is so scary. Look at the view. So our buggy is parked there. We've just climbed all the way up this hill and we've got these two like viewing platforms, which are very scary as you can see. We're just at the edge of this one. These are all the other chocolate hills in the distance. You can't um, actually climb any of those because I don't have any steps leading up to them. But here we go. It's so nice and breezy up here as well. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> This was on our buggy. Apparently it's poisonous, it can reek on the skin. I don't know, do you want to come look at it? No, I don't want to afterwards. Oh, it's a yellow thing. It's not really focusing. I don't know. Now we're heading back. No, we're heading through the coconut trees on our way back. 
look, these are baby coconut trees and there's some super tall ones as well. Oh, it's oh no, you cracked it. Doesn't matter, yeah, it's my phone, yeah. Yeah. Cracked it? Yeah, it's cracked, broken. It doesn't turn on. Thanks, so. Turning on. Okay. Thank you. It feels so weird to be back in a face mask again. Um, Covid seems like such a distant memory, but. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Your teeth. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of have no idea where we are. We have to wear a face mask going through this like government building, tourist office. But we're going. Hello. Hello. Oh, check, check it. We're going to a floating restaurant for lunch. This down here? Boat. This boat? Thank you. So, this is where we're going. Thank you. Can you grab me a plate as well? Do you like shrimp, Jess? Prawns, whatever it's called. That's the jackfruit curry. Noodles. So we're on this floating restaurant. It's kind of giving me vertigo a little bit, but this is, I think this is all veggie. No one's really clear. People just say yeah, yeah, and then walk off. So, yeah. I've never eaten so fast in my life. I literally inhaled my food. That was so good. I mean, some of it. I had noodles for the first time, right? Mm. It was really good. There's a jackfruit curry and rice. Um, there's one salad, but I think it was tofu and chickpea with onions. I think it was veggie. Like no one knows. But they just walk away from you. Anyway, um, that was actually really nice. And then there was a bitter gourd with sweet chili dressing, which was so foul. That was so good. I'm actually quite full, but you know what? Sod it. I'm gonna get another plate. <laughs> This is a tofu salad. This one's really good. Hoping he doesn't say there's oyster sauce in it to start somebody else. And that's jackfruit curry. Vegetable. No oyster sauce. Okay, thank you. It does. Okay. Alright, thank you. This one is vegetarian. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
today, is it, Jess? No, nah, look at that. It's mad. Look, my phone. We went. Um, it's got. It looks worse. On, well, it's, it's it. worse than it looks. So the phone does apparently work. It's just you can ring driven it. Driven over by a load of quad bikes, and it yeah. fell in the mud. It was all muddy, and the crack is really deep. The phone appears to be working. We can't connect it to my laptop though, so we did have to cut our countryside tour trip short a little bit we really skipped the um church and the zip lining which we weren't sure we were going to do anyway um the river cruise was really good but now we're going into the city basically where the port is 45 minutes away to try and find a mobile phone repair shop no idea how much it costs to fix an iphone screen though because Wait. most people here don't have iphones because they're so expensive the people are hmm. <laughs> um yeah and I, and when we were on the um floating boat tour there was a guy who used his drone for the first time and it basically flew off the boat into the water and the people working on the boat actually tried to jump in they jumped into the water to see if they could find it and they couldn't find his drone it's not a very good day for tech yeah seems legit here we are we're in the repair shop here my iphone is getting repaired we're in the philippines you know they always say you can't live without your phone and now I realise why, especially when you're abroad, I mean my phone's got everything on it, you know. My everything's two-factor authentication, it means that I can't log in anywhere else, even on Nishi's phone, because the prompt comes on my phone. And that phone is like needed for everything, my banking, my flights, everything. So, fingers crossed, um, this guy is fixing it for me at the moment, and I'm hoping I get everything back. Otherwise, kind of screwed. If I look disgusting, it's because I feel disgusting. <laughs> like My hair's greasy because it's just been rained on and I've been sweaty. It's been a long day. We've just got back to the hotel and it is about 7.30 p.m. We left at about 9 a.m. this morning. We're gonna go down and have some dinner in a bit and then come back, shower, because I'm sure we're still muddy somewhere from the quad bike, or not quad biking, the buggy ride. The Chocolate Hills were incredible. The quad biking slash buggy ATV drive thing was so much fun, very, very muddy. The poncho was actually handier for the mud rather than the rain because the rain wasn't too bad at all and then we climbed all the way up to the top the views were incredible it was such a struggle though because the steps are made of bamboo and it's really slippery and even our guide who just had like sliders on was literally sliding down the steps um it was really scary and we had to keep stopping for a rest but the views from the top were so good you will have seen i think in my vlog if not on my like somewhere you will have seen um it was incredible the boat the floating river lunch tour thing was so so good i thought it was excellent like the food was really good um it was really reasonably priced as well it was 850 pesos per person which is just about 14 pounds maybe a little bit less if you get a better exchange rate and so worth it there's a buffet lunch you pay extra for like the drinks that you have you go on a boat trip for about an hour there's a live singer and a guy pay playing a ukulele a guitar he was playing some sort of instrument didn't really pay attention and then they stop off at a viewpoint and they stop off again where there's women doing these traditional sort of dances which you can try if you want to of course i didn't <laughs> um but it was just so good um totally worth the money like less than 30 quid for two people and the views were absolutely stunning so i'd highly recommend that in fact everything that we did i would highly recommend in behold you only really need like one full day here um like six hours you're done basically you can go zip lining if you want to but of course we had to cut that short because just smashed his phone we had to drive all the way into the city which is 45 minutes get his screen repaired which thankfully they did straight away they did it within half an hour we just waited so that was quite good and it cost us about 60 65 quid um but yeah now we're back at the hotel we're gonna go and grab some dinner so i'm gonna end this video here um we're flying to el nido in palawan tomorrow so i'm gonna start a new vlog then so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon with a new video bye we're going on a tiny little plane to el nido i hope it isn't rickety and scary